folks, I'm Bob Shrub, physical therapist. Brad Hennig, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our, oh, in our opinion, of course, Bob. All right, coffee drinkers out there. What does coffee do to the heart, brain, and body? We're gonna go over the latest research. Wow, make sure you have some in there. Is oh, that, yeah. You, yeah. yeah. Bob, I like to keep my coffee hot. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. drink it, all right. He's gonna drink it, yeah. Okay, so we, I did a lot of research on this, Brad, sure. and there's been a lot of research on this, a ton of research on this. Uh, so I went to PubMed, mm -hmm. um, that's usually the site I like to do, it's a government research uh, sure. website, and there was, I mean, there was a lot of studies just from 2018 on this. So these are recent. Yeah, these are recent, and I'm going to just give you a summary of what a lot of them said first to the actual benefits. And then there's some that are more on the, you know, questionable. Does it help? Does it not help? Uh, they, some of them kind of went back and forth. Right. Mm -hmm. So, but before we do that, if right. you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we upload every day. Also, go over to Facebook, cover my face, <laughs> and uh, we'll go to Bob and Brad because uh, we, if you like us, we'll like you. Yeah. And if you like us, maybe you'll like coffee. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so let's first talk about what studies all seem to agree on first. And I, in fact, I didn't see any that went the other way on this. Uh, benefits, and there's a lot of them. First, decreased incidence of type 2 diabetes. That's encouraging. Yeah, that is encouraging. Decreased liver disease and cancer. Dis decreased liver cancer in wow. people that drank coffee. Okay. Um, I'm not going to go into the amounts because they, they vary for each study. It, it generally protected against gallstones. Um, number four, decreased risk of endometrial cancer. Wow. So a lot of cancer is thrown sure. in there. Uh, de uh, increased cognitive function. I could use that, Bob. Yeah, we <laughs> both could use that. Hey, hey, here, let's there get you go. drink to that. Another so, cup of coffee for that one. Uh, decreased Alzheimer's, which we're probably headed that yeah, way. Yeah, <laughs> that's another benefit. All right, uh, number seven, decreased uh, incidence of Parkinson's disease. So the, the, the benefits keep racking up, don't they, Brad? Right, yeah, you, so far you can't go wrong. Uh, decreased depression, uh, decreased ovarian cancer, and decreased um, incidence of stroke. So lots and lots of benefits. Right, you so, know, th this is, I'm glad you did this one, Bob, because I typically have not drank any coffee, and I'm 55 until the last year. So I'm thinking, you know, maybe well, I should- a good time to start, but right. yeah, apparently it is. Uh, the, the studies that were a little more questionable, because I actually saw some that were, said it was good for heart disease and some that said it was bad. Right. But I'm going to go over just a couple of the studies here, Brad, maybe talk about five of them. Uh, the first one was, to, was 2018, and this was saying if you have very high consumption, let's say you drink more than six cups a day, sure. that there was an increased risk of aortic valve stenosis. It's kind of a heart, heart issue. Right, yeah, that aortic valve is starting to get problems passing the blood through it. So another one with the, basically had to do with the heart. Uh, if you drank one to two cups a day, there was no risk. But the, uh, on the second one, if you drank three or four cups or more, you had increased risk of a, of a heart attack. Okay. So again, I would take this with a grain of salt because I saw some that went the other way on right, those two. Right. Um, another one from 2018, if you uh, drank more than three cups a day, it actually said it decreased your risk of atherosclerosis or heart of the arteries. Sure. So here's one that went the other way. It said yeah, it was actually going back good for the forth, heart. Bob. I think it depends on who paid for the study. I don't know. Maybe it does, or maybe <laughs> you know there are individuals, because uh, we're gonna get to this uh, right. numbers, number five. It said if you had a high consumption of unfiltered coffee, um, that you they saw increased cholesterol, increased heart disease in these people. But these were people with a common gene mutation. So okay. I'm kind of getting weird into that. This mutation, um, it, it's slow to break down caffeine, so it doesn't, ha you know. Yeah, so that's pretty specific. Yeah, it's pretty specific, individual. right. Mm -hmm. And the last one I mentioned is, um, the, and this one I saw uh, in more than one study, so if you do have high blood pressure, you may want to avoid more than five cups of coffee a day. Wow, um, five yeah, cups, that's, that's a lot. That's, that's, yeah. that's getting pretty serious. So, so you know, if you have cardiovascular disease, I, if, if I were in that boat, mm -hmm. I think I would probably still drink coffee, but less. Sure. I'd probably be, may drink the two cups a day, and you're going to be pretty safe then, I think. Now, the question I have, Bob, is where I go get mine is at a convenience store, the local quick trip, and 
I never know what one cup is because they got from 12 ounces to 24 ounce big things you can fill up. They got those 20 different flavors of coffee. I think a cup is just six ounces, isn't six? it? Six. I think so. Well, so that means you could, you yeah, could get up to uh, we quite a few cups in one of those big Yeah, you would be, cups. if you did like a thermos, you'd probably be knocking off. You're probably in that six yeah. plus level there. Yeah. So uh, be careful like, on the size so you relate it properly. So, uh, you know, summarize again, lots and lots of benefits some questionable whether or not it's good for, for heart sure. disease. But, uh, you know, basically, you coffee drinkers out there, you're pretty safe, I would yeah, say. One thing for sure, the caffeine kind of keeps me awake on the road. That was the biggest reason, because Pepsi was doing it before. Yeah, and if you die on the road, it's not going to help that you, you survive right. everything so I'm else. I'm going to drink something to keep me awake when yeah. I get in that gotcha. sleepy period. All right, and don't be looking at your phone either on the road. Right. So Precisely. we keep everybody safe, don't we? <laughs> All right, thanks for watching.